Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Linear momentum and the collision improves momentum theory. This session, I'm going to show you and how to use improves momentum theory to solve questions. Improves momentum theory tells us the impulse exerted on a body is equal to the change in body's momentum. The expression is F net times delta T equal delta P. Delta P means the change of momentum. So we can write this expression into the net force times delta T, which is the impulse of net force equal the changes of momentum, which is the final momentum subtract the initial momentum. So F net means the net force. And in the impulse momentum theorem, on the left side is a the impulse of force, the unit is Newton times second. And on the right side is change momentum, the unit is kilogram multiply meter per second. Because the final momentum subtract initial momentum, the unit is still kilogram meter per second. They are equal. That means the Newton times second and same unit as kilogram multiplied meter per second. So how it works? Actually, I can show you the Newton actually follow the Newton second law equal m times a. So Newton equals mass times acceleration, which is meter per second square. And times second, so we can see this second with second, one of the second can be canceled out. So we got the kilogram time meter per second. So Newton second actually equals kilogram time meter per second, which is you call the change in momentum. Same unit, OK? So next, I will show you one of the example. The question is, a 170 gram hockey puck slides towards a hockey player with a velocity of 38 meters per second. So 170 gram is the mass of hockey puck towards a hockey player with a velocity of 38 meters per second. This is uh, before the hockey player hit the hockey puck. That's why this is the initial velocity. And the hockey player applied an average force of 145 Newton to the approaching hockey puck for 0 0.1 second. This is delta T, and this one is applied force F, because average, right, average force. So what is the velocity of the hockey puck just after being hit? We're looking for the final velocity. So follow the impulse momentum theorem, we have F net times delta T equals final momentum subtract initial momentum. So the net force actually in this question is the average force 
The net force means the total force acting on the hockey puck. The total force on the hockey puck, because the hockey puck slides, slide right towards a hockey player. So we have gravity, we have normal force, and the hockey player hit the hockey puck, the force is the net force. Actually, this one, if we consider between hockey puck and uh, on the ice, there is a small amount of friction, so we can ignore it. And also, this question, it doesn't mention the friction. That means we don't consider the friction. So the total force, you can see the hockey puck is moving this way towards the hockey player. And the hockey player applies a force is opposed to the direction of initial velocity, which is these two directions are opposite. So the net force is the average applied force. So we can write, this is a 145 Newton times 0 0.1 second and equals to looking for the 170 gram we can convert into 0 0.170 kilogram times final velocity we're looking for right and subtract the mass is 0 point we write on the bottom 0 point 170 kilogram times initial velocity. Let's look at the direction because this is a vector, vector, vector. This one we're looking for, so we don't need to worry about this one. So we need to put the given the initial velocity, consider the initial velocity and the net force. If we set up, let's say we set up uh, this direction, if this is a positive direction, the initial velocity is positive, then the net force, the applied force is negative. So we need to put the negative 145 Newton and subtract uh, multiply 0 0.1 equals and 0 0.17 times V final minus 0 0.17 times initial which is 38 meter per second, right? So this one we can write on the other page. So we have negative 145 Newton times 0 0.1 second equals 0 0.170 kilogram times final velocity, which we're looking for, and subtract 0 0.170 kilogram times initial velocity, which is 38 meter per second. So negative 145 times 0 0.1 is negative 14.5 Newton times second equals 0 0.170 V final and minus 0 0.170 times 38. You can find this is 6.46 which is kilogram time meter per second, because this is a kilogram, right? Because Newton multiplied second has the same unit with kilogram time meter per second, and we just move 
negative 6.46 to the other side, combined with negative 14.5, we have 6.46 kilogram time meter per second, and uh, subtract this is uh, still this one, this unit equals 0 0.170 kilogram time v final, right? After calculation, we find because 6.46 minus 14.5, which is negative, and this is positive divided 0 0.170, we got the v final equals negative 47.3 meter per second. That means the hockey puck after being hit and the final velocity is go to the negative direction, which is going this way, final velocity, because we set up positive this way, right? The initial velocity positive, so that's why the final is go opposite direction Magnitude is negative, uh, magnitude is 47.3 meter per second. So this is presented by wise guys. Thank you.